let's now look at a scenario where we have an operator and it is connected to an enterprise through the user to network interface now the operator exposes the virtual network platform as a service to the enterprise it means now the enterprise would now be able to uh, program the infrastructure uh, to meet certain service requirements so the framework is going to be we have an enterprise that instantiates its own virtual network functions on a network function virtualization infrastructure operated by the service provider so it means now it's going to be a combination of infrastructure as a service and network as a service capabilities in the uh, virtual network platform uh, for instance we can think about a data center uh, which is not physically present within enterprise but it's a virtual data center so let's look at the details of it uh, through the uh, proper use case definition so we have um, the service provider and an enterprise which mutually work together so what is now going to be programmable the service provider infrastructure has deployed a network function virtualization infrastructure this is offered as a platform as a service it would include capabilities similar to a cloud environment which could possibly provide on demand connectivity through network in, uh, as a service uh, infrastructure and provide services to the uh, enterprise this is the programmable infrastructure now the enterprise is now going to uh, create a virtual data center like infrastructure on the uh, service providers infrastructure the traditional approach is what we've already discussed it's mundane because it's going to be between two entities uh, needing a lot of negotiations and if there's something which goes wrong then both of these have to be fully involved in it but in the programmability uh, based approach the service provider authorizes the enterprise to have access to its own infrastructure as a platform the virtual uh, network platform includes uh, the networking and computing elements uh, for instance uh, creating virtualized uh, switches routers uh, gateways firewalls access control lists uh, the uh, function virtualization infrastructure uh, provides network as a service capabilities to connect dynamically from the enterprise to this infrastructure to be provisioned subsequently to another uh, let's say customer base that the enterprise is uh, offering services to the network programmability part here in this case would involve uh, 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 would involve the programming of the um, environment which is secured through authorization and uh, the um, service provider is the uh, authorized user which would now give access to the the enterprise the network as a service provides on demand connectivity uh, with authorized um, access points uh, within the um, virtualized infrastructure and then we also need a network as a service capabilities so what are the possible challenges that we would expect first we already know not all functions could be virtualized then uh, if there is a oss bss specific business flow it has to be taken take into account the virtual network functions uh, based implementation uh, the skills have to be uh, honed and resharpened for the staff and uh, then the um, commercial offering for this particular uh, business scenario has to include the service level agreements and the terms and conditions specifically with regards to virtualization the advantages are going to be uh, again quite attractive that is um it's a pooled resource between the enterprise and the service provider primarily the service pro provider providing services to the enterprise and then this also allows the um, limited control of abstraction because here we have the overall capital expenditure and operating expenditure which is borne by uh, the two so it means that um, uh, having a control on the infrastructure enables uh, portability and interoperability uh, uh, developed by the service provider which is provided as is to the enterprise and then last but not the least the service provider uh, actually has to um, uh, give services to the enterprise to be subsequently leased or provisioned to the um, uh, to the end customer 
uh, in a very agile manner. So it means a large number of customer base could be incorporated without much worry. We are um, still um, roaming about in the same uh, at this report. Um, and uh, there are various interesting scenarios. Uh, the report is publicly available. You could go and have a look at yourself.